My friends, there are two mountains in today's readings. One is a mountain of promise, and the other is a mountain of fulfillment. Promise? The prophet Isaiah promises a rich banquet of food and fine wine. He promises life and peace as the Savior comes. Fulfillment? Well, in the Gospel, Jesus speaks to people on a mountain. The coming of the Messiah was to be marked by healing of the sick, raising up hearts that are broken, by proclaiming good news of God's mercy to all. And what happens? On the mountain, the mute speak, the lame walk, the blind see, and people are amazed at the words and at his words and actions. The promises of Isaiah and the prophets are fulfilled. And then for good measure, Jesus is moved with pity and feeds the large crowd with seven loaves and two fish. Did you notice the verbs that Matthew uses as he describes the scene? Jesus took the loaves and the fish, he blessed them, broke them, shared them with the disciples. These are actions that we will perform in a few minutes. We will take the bread and bless it. We will break it and share it. You see, Matthew deliberately echoes these actions that will eventually describe what Jesus does at the Last Supper and describes what we do every time we gather for Mass. The promises have been fulfilled and through the sacramental mystery of the Church, they continue still. The sacramental ministry of the Church finds an echo in today's psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The waters of baptism the banquet and overflowing cup of the Eucharist, the anointing of the Spirit in confirmation and holy orders, revival of souls in reconciliation and the anointing of the sick, the lifelong goodness and kindness of marriage. In all these sacraments, our wants are fulfilled. As you know only too well, Advent is about the coming of Jesus. It's about three comings, 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem, at the end of time when he comes in glory, and now in between as we celebrate the coming of the Lord in our lives. He comes as Savior. Have you ever thought about that word, Savior? A Savior is somebody who supports us or helps us out of situations or circumstances that we cannot manage on our own. We all know the experience of being burdened, of being weighed down, of not knowing how we can cope. And Jesus comes to us as Savior to bring life and hope, to bring healing and salvation. Savior. So what is it you need? What is it you truly need? A new heart, perhaps? New patience in a difficult relationship? New understanding in changed circumstances? A new sense of joy and happiness simply at being alive? You see, the Savior is not to be found in Black Friday sales, in the stores on Newbury Street or South Bay or South Shore wherever you live. The Savior is to be found here, to be found in hearts attentive to, uh, and open to the God who comes. When you ask for peace, it is already creeping in. When you ask for patience, already you begin to relax, to take it easier. When you ask for understanding in a relationship, well, already you are less likely to kill the other person. When you ask for gratitude and joy, already God's music resounds in your heart. From promise to fulfillment, 
That's our Advent journey. On this holy mountain, we take bread, bless it, break it, and share it. What do you truly long for? It's a big question. It's an Advent question. It's a hopeful question. From promise to fulfillment, the Savior comes for us all.